Hello Leo, thank you for being here. Welcome into the channel. This is Sage, Center Healing Tarot. Thank you for being here, Leo. Watch out. Hit the like button as you come in. Let's get some resonating messages for you. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet done so. And also share the messages with those you love. All of your show of support is abundantly appreciated. Getting some general messages for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus time general messages so all of them may not apply so take what applies and the rest of them fly someone could be dismissing a relationship or something in business or value dismissing a water sign a queen of cups or this is the queen of cups that's doing the dismissing but there's something between a water cup a water sign queen of cups and a air sign a queen of swords I feel like the Queen of Cups sees something like she knows all, like literally. As she sits there looking in her cup, she knows all. Like there's nothing that will pass her. She's like the wind and the water too. She's like the gases too, you know what I mean? Like she senses all particles. So she feels or she knows something. The Queen of Swords is no, she, she is no, um, she feels like she... She's releasing a little bit or blocking a little bit, receiving a little, sending a little. Like she has a rope in her hand and she's she's gauging how much she should let out and how much she should wheel. It's like she's fishing with this queen of swords. She could be fishing or spying, gathering information. She could be a reporter or someone that works with the the law uh, so the queen of swords feels like it wants to represent you leonin it's going to tell me about you you may be blocking someone i saw the strength card earlier it's as if you are standing your ground and you're telling someone to walk away from you. And it's someone that you had an emotional connection with, but at this point you're holding your emotion so firm. It's like breaking up with someone that hurts you or did. It's almost like they did the least thing to hurt. To, to them, it may have been the least thing. But to you, Leo, it was like, I told you not to cross that line, right? I told you. And I explained to you what it means. So you violated that. So walk away and this person wants to explain it but i don't feel like you have the time or the ears for that so you're get you're just very firm and strong you're being very gracious as well but you're like uh-uh you're shutting it up that's the queen of swords and you're like mm -mm, walk away but your emotions you have to be holding it i don't know why it's, it's almost as if you could cry or as, if, as soon as this person closes the door you're going to <sighs> release or show your disappointment but something maybe this person was in your home leo or your house or your yard or they came through your gates i am getting magician energy for this person you know what there was something about your heart as if you felt like you were letting this oh my god this thing the microphone wasn't plugged in all this time technical difficulties my my apologies i hope it's improved like seven times better just for that the audio quality all right so Something about your heart where you decided to op maybe open your heart instead of your desires. You know, you maybe decide, you decided this time I'm going to go with my heart. Or it could be the complete opposite where you decided, listen, I'm not going with my heart. I'm not about to fall in love. I'm going to, you know, just get some, <laughs> some company. Hey. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. But maybe someone spoke about you to someone else. 
like you got the feeling in your gut that this person was they said something to someone else about you or something in your home now we have the magician energy maybe this person is sad or wants to give up all right we're going to continue shuffling so what's going on messages for leo you know someone is sad and disappointed hurt even that maybe someone released them or they're going to have to release someone or they're losing money or valuable time or it's like you spent a lot of time learning something only to find out it wasn't relevant something like that leo so you came out as the three of the king of the queen of swords earlier because someone was blocking your might or your light or your force or your aggression it's almost like your foot remember what the strength card i was telling you is like you're holding it in you're you're calm about it you're not going to really show your true colors you're going to be graceful i felt this for you last week too you know but i didn't touch on it i did but no, because last week I wanted to say, I did a second reading for you that I was supposed to upload. And that reading was saying that you, it's almost like you're, you're about to break this barrier. You wanted to scream or be angry, but you're trying to whoo, like hold it together. I swear, literally, I was going to upload that reading. But this week, I feel like you're about to let them feel the heat. Okay? So, with the Queen of Swords, it's like you were holding it in a little bit like but it's like you're telling yourself like you person you've been telling me to calm down or to hold it in this could have been someone you're having a relationship with that's why the relation this person has got to go too you're saying walk away walk away and let me shine my light please and it's almost like you didn't want to be angry at this person really so as soon as they walked away you 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 got to release your true emotions the sun because what I asked the cards, why is Leo in Queen of Swords energy and then the Sun card? Later, I'm shuffling currently actively and the Sun card popped out. That's why you're in Queen of Swords. Maybe you're just not fully expressing. You're holding, you were holding back the vibrancy, your true colors, the childlike spirit, possibly. You know what I mean? Um the innocence as well the innocence behind your blazing expression you know it may burn but it brings healing and restoration so i feel like that i know i feel like you're laughing <laughs> like you're laughing the sun is smiling it's beautiful like the sun feels proud to to see you it's like the energy of a father that holds the smile in proudly as the, has as he watches his child dancing in the day that he's created i'm getting the energy of how i feel like my father would feel when he sees us eating from the fruit trees that he planted a feeling of pride like this is why i planted this tree for you children to really enjoy these fruits because i always just imagine my father sitting there and just feeling such contentment knowing that the fruits of his labor are making his children happy yeah, I feel like that's one of the most powerful energies of masculine vibration. Being able to provide, especially for the ones for the ones you love and then some masculine vibration. So maybe your energy is sorta of kinda of masculine when you want to come out. But with the with the strength card, I feel like ooh, and we keep seeing the magician. Cause the strength card and the magician are the same, but masculine and feminine in my in my estimation, right? So the magician is the masculine energy of magic, which is force, which is using the external um, elements to work with you, using the wind and the rain and the breath work, all of that. Well, the strength card, Leo, is where you're using your own emotions, your mind, you're using your own thoughts, you're, you're doing it more internally to change the pace or to manifest what you want. 
So I feel like there was a time when you were maybe being more feminine in your expressions. Okay. And it's something that you weren't, maybe you weren't being fully authentic in the moment. But this card is telling me to shine, telling you to shine. I'm Leo Cusp, so it could be talking to me as well. Well, that's why I do these Leo readings as well. So it's telling you to shine, to not hold back, to like, to shine. Whatever, whatever they're talking about, masculinity and femininity. This is saying the father created you like this and it's proud of you to see you living as you are, as how you shine. All right. So like, if you feel like other people are looking at you like, oh my God, like, how, how, how? Harsh, how harshly he or she shines. Your father is smiling at you, probably watching you dance this dance. Like, look at my baby. Look at the sun. Look at the pride in his eyes. You know what I mean? You see what I mean? And the smell. It's pride. And, and gratitude and love. Keep working hard, this is coming to you. This kingdom. It's like your ultimate, your biggest vision. Your biggest vision. You're getting a message, water sign, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Or just some intuition. It may be coming into you subtly, gently, or new, a new feeling. It may be going into your soul, your ancestral energy, your DNA, your blood. So it could affect your feelings, your emotions. Yes, that's brilliant. See how I did that? <laughs> so it could affect your emotions, right? It's going to really just um, digest or absorb into you, like the sun's light, really. Um... It's going to kind of, it's going to change something, a perspective possibly. Because we have the death energy shining here. A new day, a new perspective, a new light. Out with the old and with the new death vibration. Someone may be wanting forgiveness after you call this ending into being. It's the energy of... <laughs> Sorry, why did I laugh? It's funny. If you, you know the movie Twin Wires with Jet Li and someone else that I don't know his name. So Twin Wires, in the last part, they were going to this Chinese tyrannist. That's what he was in the movie. Look at this. When I say this, I feel Chinese vibration. He he was he was so badass, right? His voice was like now, now, that's what, oh my God, I don't know what I'm talking about, but Leah, anywho, so when they were about to kill him, after he was killing so much people, death, he killed so much people heartlessly in Twin Warriors, but when it was his time to die and he felt like it's ending, just that last minute, he was like, please don't kill me, he said, please don't kill me, in the weirdest quirkiest little voice and of course you know they annihilated him so death ain't lying like up to the last moment you're waiting to say please don't you're like uh-uh no decided maybe this person didn't want to settle with you not didn't want to but they why the fuck because this person said they were holding on to some secret you know the moon card cancer pisces scorpio they were holding out commitment possibly because they were playing this big boss energy to you like they don't know who they're dealing with and now that you're leaving now they want to um maybe now they want to say i'm ready to commit anywho but you're going to be fine. It's going to be all right. So have patience. 
because this person they could come back around to you it's possible that you will let them back in again if you know that's for some those of you who've released this connection or is thinking about it or whatever um it's maybe you just want a break to think to breathe a little like you're saying wait just give me a moment just let me breathe a little just uh okay and um so maybe you're going to start realizing you really do like this person or love care for appreciate um they do make your soul feel good to some extent but there's something about like maybe they're not understanding you but now i'm feeling like you're going to take this moment to look into yourself leo you're going to look into you this this uh, vibration especially that with the queen of swords that strain like you're holding back like you're just going uh, uh, and not fully expressing the anger or the emotions i feel like you want to figure what that is figure out what that is and if you are going to go back to this person, maybe you are going to go back to this person and say, I figured out what my issue with commitment is. Because maybe you are the one with the commitment issue, Leo. And, you know, so maybe that's what's going on here. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I was saying someone could be getting married or maybe someone is healing their uh, lack of commitment issues or their procrastination or just chase or just really having more boundaries and stability, especially when it comes to desires and sexual energies and giving that away, knowing how to store that. Um, knowing how to store, retain your energy and breathe into it and maybe use it for greater things, Leo. Maybe not you, maybe this is your person. Because I feel like you're planning for great and wonderful things to come into your life. Big dreams, like I say, Leo. You want to be sitting on a throne, literally with that crown on your head. Um um dressed in the garments of royalty feeling in and out like you like you can run cities you know what i mean because you can you have what it takes in you but that's why i feel like that's why you're going to figure out why maybe something you're going to figure out something about flowers or birds or flourishing or Allowing other people to be who they are. And I wanted to say to be who the fuck they are. And talk who, how they talk and dress how they dress. Whatever. And uh, there's a lot to awaken in you. It's like once you release certain ideas. Because even as the queen of swords there. You could have been holding on to certain ideas. Like uh, -uh that's how I feel. You could have been holding on to some things like that. And as soon as you... Maybe allow people, just, just for example, you allow people to be who they are. It releases so much in you with the Ten of Pentacles. You're like, why was I even holding on to that? How did that matter to me? Why did I even care so much about what other people do? It releases you so much. I can't even explain. And this isn't, this Queen of Swords is not who you've always been. It's like you've learned it. Like someone that went to private school and adopted the ways of private school. So when they went back home, everyone was like, so why are you acting like that? But then you realize, I don't have to be like this. I don't have to. All right, these are your messages. I hope you found some that inspires you and is able to help you along your journey, my love, Leo. I will see you in the next one. Remember to hit the like button on your way out subscribe to the channel and to share the message with those you love if you find inspiration here i really do appreciate your show of support and you liking the video sharing it and being a subscriber is your way of really showing support here i really enjoy doing messages for you something about a watcher sign with you leo 
the one that loves you and someone like it said the card says i really love you but i do not have what it takes to give my all or all of my attention to this connection right now i'm like juggling work but they're telling themselves that they would really like to give to this connection but i'm juggling work i really love you for real but it's just that I, I have to be steering this car. I can't steer the car and give you my attention at this time. Can't you just understand that? But like I say with this card, I feel like if you really look into it, you'll realize that there is a way. There, if there's a will, there's a way. All right, much love to you.